Alright guys, we're back playing Pokemon Fire Red and we're in the Cerulean Gym. Can I go fight Misty? And it shows water type Pokemon. If the trainer's in here. And so yeah, there's something I want to bring up later on. I don't know if I want to bring up um, it to start. I might. Um, but yeah, there's something I'm gonna talk about in this episode that I was gonna t I was gonna bring up yesterday and completely just forgot when I was recording. Um, yeah, let's get. Hopefully, we can get to Vermilion today too. Oh, I forget that there's only two here. All right. Yeah, electric types and grass types are really good against water. Alright, now we're going to be going into one of the most annoying early battles in the game, at least. I don't know if it's going to be like that this time, because I had Charizard um, as my main last time, and so I didn't have a grass type. So, you know, let's see how it goes. Now, the thing that I wanted to bring up earlier, is every time the question comes up, you know, what video game or like TV show or movie world would you like to live in a lot of people's answer is always Pokemon you know I want to live in the world of Pokemon that's never my answer do you know why because do you understand how actually terrifying it would be to live in a world full of Pokemon first off the, in the beginning of the of the game I'm gonna be mad if, okay, might have a chance to regain some health. Alright. No, but do you know how actually terrifying, in the beginning of the game, hey, that's pretty nice. In the beginning of the game, you can't go out. They won't let you go out unless you've got a Pokemon. Now imagine you know why that is probably should have tried to put him to sleep first oh uh, actually maybe not oh wow okay never mind oh wow wow almost gained two complete levels Let's make my Pokemon able to obey me more, please. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to get to Vermillion. Water Pulse is an okay move. Um, I don't know if I'll have Squirtle know it. Uh, right away. In my other playthrough, I, ha I taught it to uh, Vaporeon. Uh, let's make sure I know where we're going. Okay. But yeah, so... But yeah, first off, they don't let you go walk... Just, just think about not being able to walk around. Because these super powerful beings that have... Like, literally animals that can breathe fire and control elements and stuff just walking around do you want to know a testament to this ah crap i'm going to die because i didn't heal my pokemon anyway you can't walk around because of how fuck oh shit okay 
you can't just walk around in areas because, you know, you'll get attacked by Pokemon. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, Squirtle. Or Wartortle. Do you want a testament to, to not being able... To how dangerous this world is? If you... In any Pokemon game... Notice how few people there are in the entire world. Now this is like one country or one continent or whatever. Notice how few people there are. Do you know why that is? These are the only people smart enough to survive after freaking whatever genetic mutation or whatever created Pokemon. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. God damn it, don't put me to sleep. God. <clears throat> Man, I wish I'd remembered this. Anyway. God damn it. Oh, this is gonna be a fun battle. Just leech seeding each other back and forth. Oh, never mind. Ah, fuck. Well, that was fun. Yeah, anyway. These are the people that were, you know, got away. I didn't mean to do that. These are the people that got away and, you know, survived the Pokepocalypse. And everybody else died. If you don't believe that I'm right with this, just look at some of the Pokedex in uh, indexes. Or, um... Look at some of the Pokédex entries. There are some really messed up ones. Look at Hypno. Hypno literally would lure kids away from their towns and kill them. Yeah, that's not messed up at all. Don't So don't give me that, Oh, but Pokémon are nice. Pokémon don't hurt you. Because all evidence is kind of to the contrary on that point. Especially, especially considering some of the really messed up Pokédex entries. Yeah, don't give me that. I don't know, I thought that I thought that whole discussion would go on a lot longer, but Oh Yeah. But Pokemon would be terrifying guys. You know? They're just enslaving these super powered animals. You know, because it's the only way to survive in the world. It's kind of messed. Bulbasaur battle. Actually, it doesn't matter because he's only got Bulbasaur and I've got Ivysaur. Even though they're the same level. Ah, crap. Well, this will be fun. Let's see if I can sleep powder it. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's hope that I can win. Uh, just using this. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Hey! It's kind of weird that my Pokemon are living up to their names. It's based on Naruto, but you know, whatever. Ooh, that was not fun. Come on, wake up, dude. Ooh, I really don't want to get hit again. Ah. Well, now it's going to be another scratch fest. Ah, don't put me to sleep. Don't put me <laughs> I wish I had some awakening, because those will wake you up. Okay, good. Uh. 
This is not fun. I don't have any revives either, so I can't bring out Pikachu or Squirtle back or War Turtle. I keep I keep forgetting that I evolved uh, Squirtle. Okay, when I wake up, I'm going to put him to sleep because you know, I don't want to get put to sleep anymore. But yeah, guys, imagine the Pokepocalypse. I'm going to trademark that, that phrase, by the way. Right, well, let's just get rid of him. I was, I was actually going to get mad if he woke up on the first turn. I'm gonna have like no moves left. I'm just gonna have to leech seed and like status effect. Oh, you bitch. No. Yeah, whatever Pokemon he's got left, I'm just gonna have to leech seed and sa uh, status effect. I might just um, use poison powder and that way each turn it's gonna use more. Uh, hopefully, in one hit it'll die. But I make. Okay, good. Finally. My god, that was taking some time. Oh, it's an Abra. Dude, okay. This is why Abra is kind of hard to catch, is because any move that he'll use is, uh, the only move he'll use is teleport. But when you're fighting, like, a trainer or whatever with an Abra, sometimes they'll do that. And you can't teleport away in a trainer battle. So yeah. Send him with one vine whip. Dude, you can't teleport away. I wish the AIs were smarter sometimes, but I'm kind of glad they're not. This Pokemon isn't exactly supposed to be a super hard game. Okay, I'm gonna wanna go heal. Is Bill here? I've literally, in this game, never used the fame checker once. Let's see if I can find... Bill's house might be here. He's the one that got turned into a... Clefairy. It might be in Vermilion. Uh, this episode's already going a little bit long, um, longer than I thought it would, just cause I forgot that there was a, um, rival battle as well. I thought it was just gonna be us fighting Misty and then, you know, on the road to Vermilion, at least I think that's the next city. Oh god, no, we're gonna have to go to Rock Tunnel. And I think that takes us to... No, that'd be Diglett's Cave. I'll figure out how to get to Vermilion. I promise. Let's just go and, you know, because I know you have to go up. That's about all I know, though. I don't think Bill, uh, let's talk to this guy. Maybe here, uh... Yeah, I know this part is annoying because you've got, like, a bunch of these trainers. Yeah, the prize is not fabulous, spoiler alert. I'm probably just going to do this battle and then I'm just going to end the episode. Um, because I'm going to go Vermilion and then I'm probably going to have to go to Celadon but I'm going to have to go through Lavender. I'm probably going to have to go through Lavender Town but I'm not going to be able to do the Pokemon Tower. Um, just because I'm going to need the Sylph Scope from... Well, it's going to take me to Celadon, and then I can get to 
Oh, goody, I'm poisoned. It's gonna take me to Celadon, where I'll get Eevee and uh, maybe Dratini, Dratini actually. Um, and then I'm gonna have to go to, I think, Saffron City and get the Silph Scope. And then I can go back, do the Pokemon Tower. And there, in Lavender Town, in the Pokemon Tower, I'm going to get a Haunter. And I'm going to evolve him into Gengar. And then it's off to the Safari Zone, I think, actually, is after that. Um, and that's when we're going to be getting Surf, which is helpful. Cut is okay. I'm going to need a TM Slave. Uh, Pokemon at some point to probably catch like a Rattata or something. Um, yeah, this episode's going a little bit over what I normally like to do, but you know, whatever. All right, that's the end of this battle. I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon and figure out which way I gotta go. I'm almost certain it's through Rock Tunnel though. Is the next time. Um, yep. All right, bye guys.